Hello everyone, today we're taking a look and reviewing Tricky Badger. This is a trick-taking game for three to five players from the company Jolly Dutch, who did provide it to me for the review. Trick-taking games predominantly try and see you winning tricks, which is effectively everyone playing a card into the middle of the table and you trying to have the highest card. There's a bit of a twist in Tricky Badger though, as, well, you are sometimes wanting to play the highest and sometimes trying to play the lowest card. So in this, you are playing the strongest card, as some will want you to play a high number and some will want to play a low number. How that works is one player will start the trick by playing a card from their hand. That is the colour of sort of suit. In this case, they're all leaves, but they're different colours. So maybe you play a blue number five into the middle. And in this case, it's the highest number that's going to be strongest. The next player will look at their cards, and if they can, they'll play a blue card. If they don't have one, they have the option to either effectively discard a different colour into this trick, or play one of the pink cards which are trumps. They are stronger than the sort of suit that you've got to follow, in this case being blue. So maybe you play a pink number one, and then the next person around the table, they play a blue, because they have one, a blue six. Now, if you're trying to play the strongest, highest card, in this case, even though the highest number in that is actually the six, the blue six, because a trump has been played, which is automatically higher than the following normal sort of color, then you'd actually, the trump, even though it's the lowest number, would be winning it. As I alluded to in Tricky Badger though, sometimes you're going to want to play the lowest number. Now a trump can still make it stronger, so a low trump in that sort of round would be very beneficial. And at no point can you win a trick by playing something that's either not a trump or whatever colour leaf that the starting player played. When you win a trick, you actually gain the card that you're going for this round. So each round, a card is flipped from like this special scoring style deck, and that's going to tell you, is it the sort of highest or the lowest card, but it's also going to be the thing that you win. Those are going to be badgers, they're going to be weevils, magpies, buckets, etc. And they're going to hopefully be adding to your score pile. There is, however, very much a food chain in this game. So if you've previously got a hamster, but it's not been protected, then you gaining a badger will see that unprotected hamster eaten and not scoring you points at the end of the game. There's a whole host of cards and abilities from Badgers, which will be eating, potentially eating hamsters, unless they've got a bone with them. They're going to be scoring, say, three points for a badger. Whereas some things, like the twigs, well, they're minus one point, unless you collect so many of them, and then they start to really give you points. Like two per twig, despite normally being minus ones. The last little twist is that some of the cards can be trampled. If you've got the highest or the lowest number, well, your card can potentially be trampled and effectively ignored for picking which is the strongest. As an example, the number five orange card can trample the number one orange card because it's basically in the middle of those number range for the orange set of cards. And it basically means if someone had played the orange one, hoping that it's maybe the lowest number and they were going to get it, and someone had played that five orange, well, the one is effectively flipped over for when you start to work out which is the strongest card. Each round you'll have nine cards, and once you've played all of them, the round is over. And then you'll sort of shuffle them up, go again for another round, and once the game is over, you'll work out how many points you actually have managed to get. Building up those twigs, maybe into points, maybe building up sort of collections of hamsters or, or weevils or whatever, and hopefully you're going to be scoring most, because whoever's got the most points wins. So straight away, one thing that really attracted me to Tricky Badger was the artwork, and the cards certainly don't disappoint. All on the cards that you're trying to win. When it comes to the leaves, they're different shapes as well as colours, just in case that's going to be sort of helping you for colour blindness. So they're nice and easy to tell apart. So straight away, right, someone's played a blue, we know we're following that suit. We've got to try and play a blue card from our hand if, that's, uh, if we've got one at least. 
There's some cool twists on the trick taking. I like the fact that you're not always going to be trying to play the highest card. Sometimes, in fact quite a few of the times, you're going for the lowest number if you want to win the card that's on offer that round. However, there's plenty of times where you don't necessarily want to win a card. Quite a few are going to be minus ones. For those twigs, for example, do I really want a minus one? Mm, if I can get enough of them, yeah, they turn into a lot of points, but maybe I want to play a middle of the sort of number range to try and make sure I just don't win it. But maybe now someone else is, they've got four. If they get one more twig, those minus four points start to turn into positive points so maybe now's the time to sort of jump in and get it stop them i'll take a minus one hit but they've still got minus four over there so some nice choices about sort of when some of those cards come out that i do really like and the trampling aspect where it's like ah i'm playing the highest card well sometimes the highest card won't necessarily win it for you so that's a, a nice twist on sort of the normal trick taking logics However, there are one too many powers for me. So there's 10 in total and there's like 50 something, uh, 53 cards, I think that's roughly the right amount. And you're gonna see quite a lot of them come up. So you do have a good amount of time if you're going for twigs and stuff like that. I like a lot of the card abilities on their own. I like the fact that like a bucket or a cage will let you either try and steal a hamster or a badger respectively or protect one of your own. I like the fact a magpie will try and steal certain type of card. But there's just maybe for getting the game to the table, the ease of getting the game to the table and that first play and it really vibing with people, there's maybe one too many steps in the chain. You've got badgers that eat hamsters unless they've got a bone, that will eat weevils, but the weevils will eat the grain, but hamsters also want the grain. And then there's the stuff like the, the buckets that steal, or the magpie that steal things. And I wish there was just a couple of things fewer, or maybe a way that you could say, right, for an introductionary game, we're gonna remove these types. So you've only got sort of badgers, uh, hamsters, buckets, uh, and twigs and a few others maybe. So you've not got the full 10 different types because a lot of the time I found getting this game to the table, people have struggled with the sort of quantity of powers and actually trying to play it as a sort of smaller game of we're only using these ones and maybe having one less overall round, it seemed to go down a little bit better and a little bit easier for that first play or two of the game and it just means because there's so many powers and there's so many things interacting with each other that you don't necessarily just instantly get the game and that's what I want from a trick-taking game I want it to be instantly playable quick to get to the table and stuff like that don't get me wrong, there's some great combos. I like the fact that if you get the male hamster and a female hamster, you get like a bonus point because you've got that pairing. St like those sort of ones, they make sense and they're very quick and easy to pick up. But the whole food chain idea, it's just, it takes people that sort of extra bit of time to get it. And I think that has put a few people off. So overall, what do I think about Tricky Badger? Well, it does have some cool little twists on trick taking. I like the fact you're not always going for the highest card and the trampled system just means the best cards at either end aren't necessarily the best. Throw in the fact you don't necessarily want to win every round, unlike most trick taking games where you're always trying to win a trick, well, that's pretty cool sort of, sort of twist on things. I would say for me personally, the steep learning curve does take away from the experience because you're sort of not bombarded, but you've got to remember what all of the different things do and what you can and can't have with this card or that card. Because if you take that one, oh, it's gonna eat the thing you've already got. And I like trick taking games to be really intuitive, hit the table, be quick to play. And with Tricky Badger, that's not just what you're getting here. You're getting a much more in sort of intermediate, into in-depth sort of experience. And I think if you could get past that initial 
sort of struggle of learning the powers, knowing what's going to be in that deck of cards that you're you're going for, those sort of reward cards, then I think it can really rock your collection. However, I do think it will put some people off along the way, despite it looking a really nice sort of cute game with badgers and hamsters. I just wish it was a little bit easier because I like some of the things it's trying to do, it's just maybe trying to do too much. But anyway, that is Tricky Badger. Let me know in the comment section below if you've given the game a go, what did you think of it? And hopefully this has really helped you know if it's gonna be the trick-taking game that you should be adding to your collection. And until next time, have a badgering good day.